Hello there, lovely soul, and thank you for joining me for this Libra reading for the full moon through the new moon in May on the 11th. This is a full moon in Scorpio, and this reading is for Libra or Libra cross watchers. So you may be um, getting information for yourself as a Libra or your um, person of interest is a Libra or your sun, your moon, or your rising is Libra. But be sure to check out your other signs as well. And in case you're new to me, I am Infinity, Shaman, Mystic, Medical, Medium, Psychic, Physical, Empath, Channel, Channeler, <laughs> Astral Guide, Ascension Coach. You can find out all about me on my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. And oh, right now I'm offering a special for mediumship through the 15th. It's a Mother's Day special. So if you're interested in mediumship and um, visiting with your crust over loved ones, friends and family, check that out on my website. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. First card up from our Moonerology Oracle is look at the bigger picture. So this is full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. See things from another perspective, sort of business. Um, grab other cards here. And I'm doing all of these readings um, just as the the feels come to me with what cards we're going to be using um, as far as tarot and oracle goes. We are working with the archetype oracle here. Oh, I want that one. We're working with the archetype oracle and uh, just the tools section though. So there's four different sections, the selves, the tools, the places, and the initiations or the themes. And I was guided to just pull out the tools. So we have the sword, oh, the sword. Okay, let's leave that there. I want to, I want to go to the Angel Tarot of the Major Arcana as I let this ruminate with the sword and feel this energy with the sword. Um, let's see what we get there. So this is the Angel Tarot and this is just the Major Arcana where the Archangels reside in the Angel Tarot. So I was guided a few weeks ago to pull these apart and have not been guided to put them back together yet. So let's see what we get. We get Unity. Unity with Sandalphon. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like minded friends. Okay. So we want to, ex I'm, I'm feeling this energy needing to expand. Let me show you this card. Needing to expand our awareness, needing to expand what we're connected to. Um, I'm feeling that energy here with like expansion coming in. I want to dive into this book real quick and get into the sword. And before I go crazy looking for this page, I'm just going to go directly here. Okay, find the page number. It's just easier that way. <laughs> I always have a hard time with this book. Um, yeah, it seems I have a hard time when I know the page number. I just can't read it. There we go. The sword. Okay, the knife, the blade, the weapon. To use the sword is to decide. The blade separates one reality from the other. The choice is made and all else falls away. If you find the sword in your grasp, you can no longer hesitate. This weapon requires a clear and decisive mind and a willingness to act. An onlooker may think the sword bearer is hasty and violent, but the most compassionate and responsible gesture is one that is honest, swift, and accurate. Our first encounter with the sword is at birth when the cord we share with her mother is cut. This moment defines our separation from her and begins our journey of becoming, becoming ourself. 
We must make these cuts again and again if we are to grow. Decisions shape our life and the sword is an infamous shaper of destiny. Most definitely. Com contemplate the Buddhist philosophy of the first and second arrow. Swing the sword once with precision and commitment. More than that will be painful for everyone involved. So it's about being decisive. Um, cutting one reality from the other again see the bigger picture expansion so we need to release to expand so as we work through our process in awareness knowledge all that good stuff we change our perspective so we need to cut out our um our current set of programs as we bring in new information so we can't have the same perspective and a new perspective at the same time we shift our perspective around as we change what how we see things and so this is specifically speaking to um looking i'm getting into archangel oracle this is specifically speaking to how you look at things libra so you're being asked with this full moon to dive deep and look at the bigger picture see see what oh goodness this got all tangled up <laughs> see what's coming up for you right now what what's popping into your head what do you naturally gravitating to and thinking about what do you want to do what do you don't want to do what feels good what doesn't feel good all that kind of stuff these things will give you clues we have ariel archangel ariel with courage be courageous and stand up for your beliefs okay and overcoming difficulties with jeremy L. I love these cards the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting previous challenges. Love it. Okay, so get this little whisper here from Ariel saying, yeah, it takes courage to shift your perspective, to change, to, ch to see the bigger picture, to move outside of yourself and expand. Um, we are going to jump into tarot. I'm going for the light seers tarot. I want to see, see what we see here and get some clues as to what this may be about. Yeah, let's see what this may be about. Interesting. Interesting. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Knight of Swords in reverse. The Magician in reverse. These may switch. We'll see. King of Pentacles in reverse. Let's get one more. Five of Wands in reverse. Good goodness gracious. Libra. All of these in reverse. Let me just check in and make sure. Because sometimes they come out a certain way. They don't necessarily mean that. Okay. We're turning this one over. We're turning this one over. Turning this one over as well. Okay, we're keeping the five of wands in reverse. We have two of cups, knight of swords, the magician, king of pentacles, and the five of wands. Okay, so I definitely feel that this is regarding another person. Um, I'm feeling that we have... Yeah, that this is, this is definitely about a relationship about seeing a new a new perspective again and being shown this unity card this is definitely about something pretty deep um with a person and really feeling this connection or you are you have a long-standing deep 
either family connection or friend connection, mentor type connection. But maybe you're seeing, because you're seeing yourself differently, you're seeing them differently. And um, it may be time to do the, do the thing of separation, of seeing, you know, kind of getting into a place where you can really see this for what it is now not what it used to be but what it is now again look at the picture bigger picture satellite up from here um is i just feel like like there's just more information coming through more more connection more just like you're traveling in this new spiritual or yeah creative just different very different it feels like um from this person or how this relationship normally may go let's get some clarity with our wild oh, i can grab all the cards <laughs> the wild unknown here um and see see what else may come up Let's get some clarifiers here. I just cut my nails really short and it is not helpful for working with cards. <laughs> okay. Strength, the hero font, the moon. Wow, five of swords in reverse and temperance. Woo wee. Okay, yeah, so we got the strength clarifying the two of cups here and <laughs> this is about unconditional love. This is about a strong bond. This is about, uh, kind of, wow, these are two really interesting energies together, the hero font and the knight of um, swords, because he's like moving forward, going, 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 and the hero font's like, okay, we need to be temp, well, that's temperance, <laughs> but I was going to say we need to be tempered, we need to, like, the hero font is, is um, especially in this situation, it's like, Oh, wow. It's a literally like, see those birds? And it's kind of like, okay, it's like the, like, like, like the raven, if the, I think that's a raven, if the raven is coming in, like, on, above the knight of swords and is like, w like, guiding or wanting to guide here. Um, interesting. I was just shown that, like, look at this right here. Look at this right here. Um, then we have the moon with the magician. So a lot of really intense energies coming through with this new moon. Like there's like, I feel like, oh, I'm getting this vision of, you know, those um, light sticks. And when you crack the, like, it doesn't look like anything. It looks pretty boring and plastic and like, not like much of anything, honestly. And then you crack it and it lights up. I've always loved those things. I just saw that. So it's kind of like this full moon is coming in to super illuminate this situation to really be a catalyst for change here really want to bring in your understanding like again the bigger picture like see, being on top satellite being being above it and and seeing from the top down um yeah sort more swords here these <laughs> swords with the sword um a lot of, 
Yeah, so we have the Knight of Swords, the Sword, and Five of Swords, which is a really, um, in reverse, though. So, this is really about changing your timeline, changing your perspective, seeing things very, I know I'm kind of feel like I'm really repeating myself, but it's like the way that you see a person or a situation is forever changed, forever altered, because the way you see yourself in the world is forever changed and forever altered. So it's naturally going to cause a a chasm between you in this relationship, between you and yourself, maybe between you and them, because it's like, it's like oil and water kind of kind of energy that I'm getting. Um, that it's like, oh, this is very very different, and or now, you know, because there's been you know there's been a lot of change here. So, um, so far, anyway, there's been a lot of change here. Let's see, are we going any place else with this? Want it? Okay, I'm being. I keep looking at the dreams of Gaia Tarot. So let's go here for even more. See what we may get. Oh, what's this? There were just like three cards pulled to the side, pulled like out the side here. We have Queen of Earth. Beautiful cards, aren't they? three of earth and the sage okay so um we got temperance strength the moon the magician ten of pentacles the sage Queen of Earth. So what I'm hearing here as I look at Queen of Earth, since she's so beautiful. Queen of Earth, what I'm feeling here with her um, was the need to connect with nature is really coming through for you. The need to ground. Like I feel like you feel kind of foggy or floaty, not very totally grounded um, with all of this energy, maybe even tingly, a little head hurting, um, maybe a little achy even. Um, and it's really time to go within um, as you expand yourself so there's these two energies that need to come into balance as your awareness starts to shift and change it's really necessary to stay as grounded as balanced and and go inward with that um through meditation i will be putting out a uh channeled guided astral meditation for the full moon but this is more about and that's going to help you of course but this is about really separating from the usual connections and how you how things play out to you spending time connecting with mother Gaia earth and your guides and guardians and really trying to feel into that energy so you can be more at peace with these changes because there's no you're not going to get all the answers you're not going to get all the clarity on exactly what's going to happen but you can get more in your um in a peaceful place and channel the energy of the sage of a Merlin type person I work with Merlin and I'm really feeling this energy here pretty strongly actually um coming through with this sage card it's kind of funny um and he's excellent at helping people to kind of cut through the muck and really just see the the crystal the crystal clearness of a situation to also guide you to crystals <laughs> 
<laughs> he's good at that. He's really into crystals and um, really into really into guiding, really into helping people find their find the answers, find their way, giving you doesn't he doesn't give you the answers. He's into helping you find the answers and he'll give you as much support and information as as you can as you're looking for as you're willing to accept and receive um when you go into into meditation when you seek out um that energy so the energy of gaia coming through very strongly the energy of merlin coming through very strongly to um divine beings of the high council that i work with very very closely so healing needs to be done connection needs to be done um, really coming from a place of love. So connecting with your heart chakra is really necessary um, with the strength card that, that came through. So we have the strength card, the hero font, the moon. Um, sometimes I go faster. So if I didn't show you these cards, I apologize. The five of swords and then temperance. Um, temperance and we're and i'm picking up on this um earth and fire energy also mixed in with water energy all the uh, the elements are really coming in strong here for you so in general connecting with gaia um uh i would suggest I'm kind of seeing what I'm, I'm getting this like vision of a person sitting with a plant. Like I have my little plant like right here. So sitting with a plant, sitting with some crystals, sitting outside, sitting wherever you can that makes sense to you. That you can, you know, go within, really connect with nature, call in Mother Gaia, call in Merlin and ask for guidance. Um, and again, I'm, I'm being shown this sword again, the sword energy coming through here. I'm really wanting to help you see the light from the dark, separate the past from the present. Um, see the options before you kind of thing. It's kind of like, you know, I kind of thought it was always going to be this way or I'm this and they're that and this is how life is. And then it's like either through a dark night, spiritual awakening, things like this, things have changed and you see things differently now. And it's really impossible to ignore. But remember, you're overcoming difficulties. So this is in pro you're in process of getting this figured out courage and strength coming out so it's really gonna take really gonna take look at all that lion energy it's really gonna take you to come from a place of love let go and release fear open up to um the divine guidance that is being uh, that is coming in really strong through for you through this um through this moon energy this full moon i always love getting moon cards um when we're doing a specific moon reading it really shows me that that energy is super amplified for the person or the or the or the read the general read um the the station in with the with the astrological zodiac sign and who's all in that quadrant um, and so, and I was also guided to do Libra first. The moon is in Libra right now. It is transitioning to Scorpio. It'll be at seven something degrees Scorpio for the full moon. Um, and so be patient with yourself. Know that there's information coming in. You are going to be, you are being guided to really rise up in your ascension, in your, in your awareness. Um, so you can unite with your soul with your guides with your guardians to really help you through this um because i feel that there's this like push pull thing going on like like you want you need things to change but you're not quite sure how to go about doing that or what that all involves and things like this and you're just feeling a little bit lost but rest assured there's so much support here for you beautiful libra um the two of cups is the first tarot card that came out and this really shows that 
there is divine connection for you and i'm really feeling this more like this is on both sides this is on the human aspect with with what's going on with connection and um energetic divine connection as well okay libra i want to thank you so much for being here for receiving these messages please let me know if they resonate with you how you feel about this message and um, leave those um, thoughts your experience in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already i love you infinitely again thanks for being here until next time bye for now